going to explain how to use graph theory to solve the sea crates puzzle from Survivor. And I've already done the first part here. So on this here, on block one, on the top, I've got red top, green bottom. And so right here you can see we've got a connection from red to green. And we've got on the front we've got red, the back we've got red. And so that makes a connection from red to red. And then on the sides we've got blue and yellow. That gives us this connection blue to yellow. Block two, I'll just do it a little bit faster here. So we've got red on the bottom, blue, or red on top, but blue on bottom. And on the, the sides we've got green, yellow, front yellow, back red. And so that, that works out red to blue, red to yellow, green to yellow. And then block three, we've got blue on top, red on bottom, green on front, green on back, yellow on the side, blue on the back, which works out to red to blue, blue to yellow, green to green. On this fourth block here, yellow on the front, blue on the back, green on top, red on the bottom, green on the side, yellow on the back or yellow on the other side. And so we've got red to green, green to yellow, yellow to blue. Now this is where you want to start doing your next step of graph theory where you take all four of these graphs and combine them into one. And so we've got a red to red on graph one. We've got a red to blue on two and three. We've got blue to yellow, and that's on one, three, and four. We've got green to yellow, and that's on two and four. And we've got red to green, that's on one to four. And we've got a red to yellow, and that is on box two. So next step is we want to take this and break it into what we're going to use for the front to back and the left to right. And so what I'm going to do here, um, so first off we can't use any of the ones that are singles. So this one is a single, oh and I forgot to do this one here, green to green is a three was a single, and the one across the middle red to yellow is a single, we can't use those. And so we've got some possibilities here, we've got one four, red and green, 2, 3 for red to blue, 1, 3 and 4 for blue to yellow, and 2 and 4 for green to yellow. And so on both of these boxes we're going to be using these. And so basically what we need to do here is find a combination that works between the two. And so from red to green I'm going to go ahead and use one. I'll cross it out up here because I've used it up here red to blue, we're going to use two, cross that out because we've used it. Blue to yellow, I'm going to use three. Green to yellow, I'm going to use four. And then over here, I'm going to use one on blue to yellow. I'm going to use two, green to yellow. 3, red to blue, and then I'm going to use 4, red to green. The work that I have done for the C crates puzzle, there's also the puzzle that Spencer solved really fast. I'm going to hand this phone over to my girl real quick, and then using this formula real quick, it's going to be red and green on one side. And left and right, it's going to be blue and yellow, so that's good. And so block two, it's going to be red and blue, and so it's supposed to go this way. And green and yellow, so over that way. Block three, it's going to be blue and yellow front and back. Okay, 
and then on the sides, red and blue. Looks like we're good there. Block four, we've got green and yellow opposite sides. Okay, we're good there. And then, I think that does it. Oh, nope, that does not do it. Green and yellow, flip it over that way. And so we've got red, blue, yellow, green. Yellow, green, blue, red. Green, red, blue, yellow. Blue, yellow, red, green.